you guys, I really feel like today was a heavy subject matter. I mean, traumatic brain injuries. How will I tell my students about that? How will I accurately inform them? Yeah, Sarah, I was thinking about it too. How am I going to accommodate for my future students? What if I have a student that has TBI? How am I going to change the classroom for them? You know, one thing we need to worry about is protecting the children. And I think a great topic would be prevention. Operation Save the Children starts today. motion. Traumatic brain injuries contribute to over one-third of all deaths in the United States. After being hospitalized, over half of the people are hospitalized again due to their injury. A traumatic brain injury is caused by a bump or another jolt to the head. Traumatic brain injuries range from mild concussions to more serious injuries. It affects your cognitive, your motor skills, your sensations, and your emotions. The leading causes of a traumatic brain injury are falls, motor vehicle accidents, getting struck by something, or running into something, or assaults. Effects of a traumatic brain injury are trouble concentrating, memory loss, and slow processing. The day-to-day -day life of someone with this injury could have hearing loss, headaches, seizures, dizziness, nausea, and blurred vision. Language may also be affected. They may have trouble with words. They may not respond to facial expressions. They may have trouble with their tone of voice, and they may have trouble keeping on topic. You have been informed. I'm the accommodator. To accommodate for a student with traumatic brain injury, you need to plan accordingly for students return to school. Student will be evaluated by the school. Inform teachers, principals, and parents of the results of this evaluation. These people will meet to develop an IEP that is flexible for the student's needs. As a teacher, you should educate yourself about traumatic brain injury and how it has affected your student. Learn your student's treatment plan and medical details of their incident. Talk to their doctors if you can. Keep an organized track of students' treatment and in-class progress. Keep child in mind when planning lessons and assessments. Know how you can assist them in the classroom. You need to be methodical and accommodating for a student with traumatic brain injury, but to remember to always be understanding and caring. How? I'm the preventer. What does a brain say when it sees a friend across the street? It sends a brain wave. And then it jumps on a bike and rides over. And with that bike, you'll need a helmet. Wrecks can be dangerous and everyone should take the proper precautions before getting on their bike. A common form of TBI is the concussion and many children and adults all get concussions in several sports. Football, they wear helmets to protect. In soccer, there's even been a team in Topeka that this past season all had their team wear headgear to prevent their concussions. So now that we've taken the proper precautions on the field, do we have anything else to worry about? Absolutely. In the car. As the informer brought to our attention earlier, one of the leading causes of TBI is car accidents. And what can help prevent serious injury in car accidents? Seat belts. So click it or TBI. I'm the preventer. I'm the accommodator. And I'm the informer. And we're the, the brain, brain investigators. investigators. And our work here is done. Thanks to the brain investigators, I now know how to inform my children about traumatic brain injuries. Yeah, thank you, brain investigators. Now I know how to accommodate for my future students. And I'm going to save all the children. Thanks, brain, brain investigators! investigators.